We get a little Jay Tessa back inside the check in. So right now, I'm about to give y'all a little story about this toxic person that was inside my group. So my group inside our college consisted of me, a couple of people from my high school, and then a couple of people I met inside the game room in the multi purpose room. All right, so then it was just one girl. I guess she wanted to be, uh, I guess she wanted to treat herself like a fucking queen or fucking whatever. And like, so for some reason, everybody else was following what she was saying. Except for me, I wasn't doing that shit because I'm not fucking following it. And I wasn't about to listen to that little like, girl because she had a stink ass attitude and all like people with nasty ass attitudes. So, you know, so, you know like, fuck her. So, we used to plan trips to go and we would cancel, she would cancel them because of some reason. Because of some reason. If she wasn't feeling good, if she doesn't feel like going, and none of that shit is like they the whole trip used to be canceled. Like for example, we went we tried to go to Dayland. She proposed the trip to Dayland. So like for the next day. So we was like, okay, we going to Dayland at this time. Because after that because at that time nobody has class. So so I, so we said so we told everybody, hey man, pick out an outfit for you to wear because because we really gonna take a like a trip. So I bet and the next day I got a class. So I'm the last person I get out of the class. So I go around the whole the whole group there. I'm looking like, okay, time for us to go. Everybody ready? And then nobody said nothing. Like it was just quiet. And like they was all just looking at the girl. Like so I was like so I said. I'm like, yo, it's like, y'all ready to go? She said, we're not going. I look, I look down, I'm like, for what? Cause, because I said so. I'm sorry. So I'm already looking like, I'm already looking at everybody else. Like, so we not about to leave because of her. And she planned the damn trip. So after that, she stormed off. And I'm already looking at everybody like, so. So tell me why, why the reason we're not going? They was like, oh, she feels sick. I'm looking like, bro, I don't give a fuck if she sells. Like, sick. She planned this trip. And she planned this trip, and now she want to cancel it without telling anybody before this. The day of, I'm like, no, you can't do that. So then, like, something like, okay, I'm about to say my ass here inside and play pool. Five minutes later, she was like, come on, let's go to CVS so I can get me some medicine. I'm thinking like I'm, I'm already thinking like I'm, I'm not gonna fucking see this. Like, let's go to check for what. So get up the whole group room. I'm thinking like, hey, what the fuck y'all doing? Here's I like, about to get this girl some So I'm thinking like, y'all really about to follow this fucking crap? Oh, I don't know why, but she had these motherfuckers around around her fucking finger. I don't know why the fuck they were just going and listening. <sighs> so I was like, yeah, fuck it, come on. Get up and go. So we go. We went to fucking CVS. She didn't even get shit from CVS. Cause turned out she ain't had no fucking money to buy shit from CVS. So I'm thinking like, bro, this is that bullshit I'm talking about. And then, then me and her got into it at Chili's. Bro, I'm gonna tell you, bro, we started the whole fucking scene at Chili's. Because, okay, so while we were ordering, okay, be, before. Before we even got sat down, we first finished chilies. My friend Twin came inside. So nobody told her that we were going to chilies. So she came in and it's like with a bit like with a big ass burger that she bought from somewhere that cost fourteen dollars. And then I was looking at her and like, I don't know why the fuck would you buy a burger for fourteen dollars for like I'm looking like you must be fucking high or fucking stupid to do that shit. Cause I would never do that. So then, right here waiting, and then she right here snapping on the girl because she bought a burger for $14. Now, oh, nobody told you to buy the burger for $14. Bro, bro. She, she was a Hispanic, but she had like one of those stuck up privileged white girls. That, that, that shit like really pissed me off. So I'm like, looking like, like, why the fuck was like, would you like snap at her like, like that? So then, I'm like, I'm, my name's saying shit. So we go down, I order. What I order, and then the lady 
brought me my drink, but it didn't taste good. Like it tastes. I asked for asked for a sweet tea, and it wasn't fucking good. Like so, I bought one back and I said, um, I want an iced tea. Said, oh, we don't have any iced tea. I'm gonna like give me a fruit punch. It's like you don't have fruit punch, so I'm gonna like, man, fuck it, give me a minute. So I'm gonna like, can I please have a sprite? Thank you. So she said, okay. And then she go back, and then she told me, it's like, Tessa, you weren't being nice. You were being very rude to her. I'm thinking, like, well, I didn't say anything rude to her. I said, please and thank you. It's like, I didn't say it in some rude way either. She was like, you're being rude. So I was like, so like, she was really pissing me off. So I, like, I knew I was pissed when I started banging on the table. So I had to calm myself down. So after, oh, be, before we left, the girl that bought the burger, she she ordered a dessert. And then the toxic girl told told the girl that she stopped that earlier while we were saw chilies that you better give me some of um your chocolate cake. And I'm here looking and it's like like how the fuck I was looking I was looking at the girl I'm like you really about to have her talk like that? Like after she just stepped on you about buying a burger for fourteen dollars? Like you really about to give her a piece of your cake? And I'm like, like, like okay. So I go on, so I go and pay for my food and I and I told the waitress. I said, Look, I'm sorry if I'm being rude to you. It's like when I asked for the drink. She said, Oh, you weren't being rude. So I was like, bet. Like because I always have to I have to prove a motherfucker wrong every single time. So I like so I said, hey, we got the story. I'm like, hey, I, I told you. The, I, said, I, I said sorry to the waitress. Then she said I wasn't being rude. And then she was, then the sauce girl was trying to go back and forth. And she's just like saying, yes, you were being rude. And then, yes, she was she was getting mad. I was, I was right here chilling. She was getting mad. Say, don't make me embarrass you in front of um in front of this mall. I'm right looking. I'm thinking like, I'm right looking like, man. I'm prepared to make a scene inside front of this mall. I don't give a fuck. It's like, I will embarrass you. I'll put myself on black before you even have a chance to. But, but, I'll, but I already embarrassed her. And like, so she stormed out. And then like, she fucking went home. So then, like, let's, let's fast forward to the summer. So the game room got broken down because some, some free, free white kids spoke the fucking ping pong table. So it was the last day where everybody had class. So, so what wasn't a really reason to come to school. So, but we, but we came to school to go to the pool that day. So we were all getting ready to come to go to the pool. So we probably right went for the bus. So when we went for the bus, she decided, oh, I want some ice cream from Dippin' Dice. But that's that's an expensive ass ice cream place. So she fucking go and then she buy it and then she sits down. And then I'm right here like look, looking at the phone being like, okay, the bus coming inside five minutes. So I told everybody that and then she still sit down. And then I look at the phone two more minutes. So I'm like, alright, man, I'm about to get up and I'm about to walk. They were, they was like, Oh, you ready to go? I'm looking like, of course, I'm ready to go. I've been fucking ready to go. So before we even get, so like, so while we're walking down, like, we're almost there. I see a bus roll by. So, I'm already looking like, please, I hope that wasn't my fucking bus. I look in the phone, it was like, one more minute. So I waited, like, two more minutes. That was a bus that passed. I'm already looking, I'm already looking at the girl, like, God damn, you really got to get a fucking ice cream? Like, we fucking missed the damn bus. They was like, test me, when next time the bus come? I look in the phone, a fucking hour. Like, really fucking hour, I'm looking like, big way down, like, girl, no, but we can't. I'm looking like, girl, like, let's just, let, let's go. Let's just go to the fucking library of, like, of some shit like that. I don't know. And then, like, man, after that, we completely cut her off. It's like, because we got tired of her bullshit. Like, man, she was fucking up the place. She was breaking people apart. Everybody was following her. Then, like, and then, I, I, I pointed that shit out. I'm thinking, like, hey, like, so y'all don't notice that whatever she says, like y'all do, is on the line. So none of y'all notice that. And like, and that shit is not cool. I know she's a girl, but I'm not about to have, I'm not about to bend my fucking back for her. And then she being rude, I'm going, no, I'm not. 
that's not how that shit is gonna work today. But I see y'all next time though. Look, mm-hmm. next time I'm gonna give y'all a story about when my friend that's at the same clip started dating her. That man was really shout out for what he